Hey everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to start rebuilding the Sea-Doo 947 951 engine out of a 2000 Sea-Doo XP. <sighs> it's been a while since I've done one. We stripped down the engine and now we're going to start rebuilding it. Let's quit fucking around. Let's crack open this beer and get to work. <sighs> this project is not going to finish itself. So here we got the bottom half of the Sea-Doo crankcase. Here's our crank, we're going to start putting it together, lining everything up. First thing we're going to do is put new seals in here. Put all the new gaskets and seals inside this little drawer. And then we're going to put the crankcase in. I got an, a little syringe full of oil. We're going to squirt to lubricate it, but let's get to fucking work. We got the counterbalance shaft put back into place. Make sure your seals go in the right spot. And this is very important, that little hole up top, that's to lube the little bearing. And that has to be in the middle. What I do is I got a syringe with oil in it, two-stroke oil. And I just squirt a little bit in that hole right there. And I just spin this counterbalance shaft around just to get it lubricated. So next step, we're going to grab the crankshaft here. We're going to put new seals on the end, drop that into place, and get ready to seal the crankcase up. Now for the important shit, when you got your crankshaft put in there and your counterbalance shaft, you got to make sure those two dots are aligned. If those two blue dots are not aligned, you're going to fucking destroy this engine in a hurry. So now we've got our end caps in. Make sure, double check, make sure everything's in there properly. The bearings are sitting in there right, the seals are sitting in right, nothing's being pinched. Make sure the pins are in the right spot, and, and when I'm talking about the pins, I'm talking about those. And if you want to know where those go in the engine itself, it has sides where the pins will sit, and that'll keep your bearing from spinning. So go through, make sure all that's good, and if that's all good, <clears throat> we're going to silicone this up and get ready to seal, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But I'm just going to double check everything and then move on to the next step. Before I put my crankcase back together, I like to test fit it first, make sure it all fits properly. So I got a piece of plastic and some silicone on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my roller. This is going to be a fucking mess. And then... Gonna roll it on the engine block like that. Takes a little bit of time, but you get it coated to get a really thin layer and now ready to place that on top and then bolt her down and torque her down to specs. I just got four bolts in each corner holding her in, and if you got it in right, you should be able to turn your crankshaft over by hand without any binding. I'm gonna flip the engine up on its side. <clears throat> and then we're going to put all the bolts in and torque it down to the proper specs. And there you go right there. Place engine on the magneto side. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to do that. The first round of bolts have got to be torqued to 12 Nm, and then the second time around 27 Nm. And the final step to torque the M10 times 73.5 to 40 Nm. So we're gonna, that's the ones you gotta do the final torque on. These ones here, once they get 27, they're done. So let's follow the sequence like it says, and fucking pound this away. Just a little tip, if you want your torque wrench to last longer, Always back it off to zero every time you use it, otherwise that spring is going to get stretched and it's not going to be accurate anymore. To seal the crankcase bolts down, I use blue Loctite. <clears throat> I know the original ones had red and a lot of people will probably argue that, but to me, red Loctite is a permanent fucking solution. It is an engine ruiner. That's what I call it, an engine ruiner. Because on a aluminum engine, sometimes the red Loctite will strip your threads as you're taking it out, and then you're fucking hooped. And the reason why you want to roll the silicone on to seal the crankcase, because if you see that where the crankcase is sealed right there in the side, you can see a little bit sticking through. That's not going to damage the engine, but if you put a big fucking bead on there and seal that bitch down, your engine's going to get gummed up. 
Okay, before I end this video on rebuilding the CDU engine, there's three most important things you learned in this video. The counterbalance shaft, that hole has to be up, that's the lubrication hole. Number two, it's fucking cop sirens. The second most important thing is to know the orientation of your bearing pins. Make sure they're in the right spot because if they're not and you tighten down that crankcase, it's going to be an engine ruiner. Number three, make sure all your bolts are torqued to the proper specs. And lastly, it's time to smoke my fucking pipe. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.